Now what's this? Ah, a cannon. Very appropriate too, because this is another of the famed fortresses of Greece, perhaps the most impregnable of all, Monivasia. Every square inch of this place is rich in history. How many sieges did Monivasia endure? Was it ten or more? Probably more. Some of the sieges went on for many months. One, conducted by the Frankish seigneur William de Villehardouin, actually went on for three whole years before the defenders finally surrendered. The best viewpoint is naturally from the medieval battlements, so let's climb up there. Through the outer door and along the passage, so easy to block and defend, so difficult to attack. Really, the only way to conquer this fortress was by starving out the defenders, and this is what invariably happened. From the battlements it is easy to see that an enemy attacker trying to scale the steep cliff would have an almost impossible task. Looking down on the little walled town of Monivasia, it appears half deserted. Many of the houses are in ruins. But though this place will never regain the strategic importance it once had, it is gradually being reconstructed and it will surely become a tourist attraction in years to come.